Good morning, afternoon, and good evening, everyone. This is combo number two. I am Tom Flores. I'm Brittany. And we will be talking today about Kung Fu Panda 3. Exactly. The third one in the trilogy. Yeah. So, uh, what were your thoughts? It was just fun. It was. It was overall just a fun movie. Um, definitely not, obviously, not as good as the first two. Because the second one, I, I found very good. Like, I was surprised at how good it was and how well written. This one just felt really rushed. Try to throw a lot of jokes in. Okay, for people who don't remember the second one, do you want to give a little refresher? Like, okay, well, we'll go from the game. From the first, refresher. Okay, from the first one, first Kung Fu, Kung Fu Panda, main character Poe, Panda, voiced by Jack Black, gets chosen as a dragon warrior, goes through training, and when he's uh, about to fight, uh, I think it was Shang Long? Tai, tai Long. Tai Long. He realizes that the power of the of the Dragon Warrior is just yourself. It's believing in yourself. It's just just believing basically in yourself. Yep. You, you are the secret ingredient. Second one is now he's basically he is a he's a part of the Furious Five. He's with them. They all work together. They defend the valley. And then a new villain comes in. Is a peacock voiced by Gary Oldman. I forgot the character name. I think it was like I don't remember the character's name at all. Something with an S. But basically, that character uh, begins to uh, hone the power of, of, of gunpowder. And usually... He wants to take and over the fir- world. Exactly. At first, though, it's used for fireworks, for beauty, for art, for celebrations. But he realizes it can be used as a destructive force. Yep. So he uses that to basically contr- to, to, to destroy Kung Fu, to defeat Kung Fu, and rule of the, China, the whole world. And that's where Poe comes in and he finds more about himself, who he is, and masters inner peace. That's what that one really was about, just mastering inner peace. And the theme of this one was uh, mastering your chi. And it's basically kind of like the first one, just knowing who you are again, in a sense. Like the secret yeah. ingredient was you, and but now this is more really knowing Well, I mean, they all have, all three of them you. have that kind of theme. <clears throat> well, inner peace is just inner peace, just finding contentment with well, I know, but they all have like a theme of like him working on himself. Uh-huh. Oh, so, yeah. Continue and so, anyway, <laughs> um, so that's what that one's about. So the third one is is about honing his chi. So because now, because now he's leaving, he's transitioning from student to master. Because now he's a sh- uh, um, shifu gives him now the title of teacher. Because Shifu's basically retiring. So now that he's a teacher, he teaches the Furious Five. He's their master. And it's him discovering, mastering not only Chi, but knowing who he is as a person, as as a pan, panda, po, person, everything, and his place in the universe to complete his training. That's basically that's basically what the third one is. And But what happens was the new villain is Kai, voiced by J.K. Simmons. He was more of like an ox, I'd say. Yeah, They're not like a, mm. you know what I'm talking about, right? It wasn't an Oscar. It's like like a water buffalo. Like you look more like a or water a yak. Buffalo. Yeah, a yak <laughs> or a water, a big, juiced yak, juiced. And that that we we see at the beginning is that uh, the new bad guy is collecting every master's chi and all the masters who have in the spirit world. In the spirit world, is what I'm about to get to. It's every master who has passed, died, or fallen, about they go to the spirit world, and he's there. The spirit world. So for like 500 years, just collecting all the Master's Chi. And one of the ma- last Master in the spirit world that Kai collects, Ugwe. Ugwe. Master and, Ugwe. And that was kind of cool to bring back Ugwe again, seeing Ugwe just having fun, just being Ugwe. He's a little more energetic in this one, lively, than in the last one. I feel one. like he just has more lines. Well, he wasn't as senile as they made him. This one they made him yeah. more like just a big kid. Yeah. So then he, he takes his... Chi. And because of that chi. Kai takes yeah. oolongs. Or oolong. Ugwe. Ugwe. Oolong. <laughs> oolong. Ugwe's chi. And that's what they, helps Kai escape the spirit world into the real world and just take over every every Kung Fu master's chi and just rule the world again. That's basically yeah. it. But since he collected all of the master's chi in the spirit world, they're like these little jade medallion kind of? Yeah, like, like a, a necklace. Like a jade charm like, like, or what, something. What are they called? Yeah, like charms. On yeah, a it was like a, he had these around him on like a little belt, and then he, he carried Uguays on his neck. But um, was, all he, he had to do was take them off and like kind of throw them on the ground, and they would they would become that master that he uh, collected. defeated. Yeah. But it was kind of cool. I, I thought that was just kind of funny. When they first saw them, it was like, they're like zombies. They're like jade zombies. 
They're zombies. <laughs> I like that part. Jinx. <laughs> yeah, whatever. With the monkey, uh, but and but they're yeah they're green and I feel like that gives them more of an indestructibility because it's like they're battling stone, not flesh and blood. Now, whenever you fight yeah. those creatures, they're like stone. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. Mm. And a cool added bonus for the power, he can see through every single oh right zombie he releases. He can see through all of them at the same time, so he gets different points of angles of the battlefield all at once, and he sets out like five. Yeah, which is it's a cool advantage. Well, I think it's only. Can he see all of them, or if he just focuses on that one, he can see He can them. see all of them all at once. It's like, oh. it's having that omniscient feel. Anyways, that was pretty cool. And his swords, his two little swords. Were oh, like, yeah, they were, um... Uh, swords, short swords. Well, yeah, but they were, like, attached to... The chains on his around his arm. It's kind of like reference to one... I, I know you don't know, Brittany, but there's a character in uh, part of the... I believe it's uh, in uh, the PlayStation... For places in console, there's a character called Kratos, and that's how it, literally his weapons look like, attached to his arms and chains, and he can use them. Oh. That. So that was kind of cool. Like, oh, that's kind of, you could see, I feel like that's where they got that from. His theme song was cool. Yeah, what uh, was his theme song again? It was I'm Sorry by Imagine Dragons, but it was done more of like in a, kind of like an oriental type of sound. Okay. I just thought it was, his, like, and it played it a lot. At first I kind of got a little annoyed, but then I kind of liked it. I don't know, it was a cool theme song, I really liked it. But well, we didn't even talk about when. Um... We're getting to that. But that's not the main story, though. I'm just talking about the Ogus, the part where his dad comes in. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that is part of the main story. Him trying to figure well, out the, who he the is. The big thing is, yeah. But I was gonna get to that. We're, we're well, going we'll down. Get to it. How about you get to it? <laughs> so I don't know why Poe was back at his dad's noodle shop. Do you remember? He goes to him because, like, he just goes to his dad whenever he's basically having a little like he can't. Oh no! Him. He was taking a bath and playing with his little action figures. <laughs> And then but his, he went there to, like, well, yeah. dad's. And then his dad was like, oh, someone's going to beat your dumpling eating record. And then Poe, like, runs out there to see who it is. And, like, you can tell from the back, you're like, okay, it looks like another panda. I was waiting for it to be a bear, to be honest. I thought they were going to mess with us, and I thought it was going to be, like, a black bear. And then you <laughs> turn around, and it's, it's not a panda. But, um, so the panda turns around, and he's like, oh, there's another panda. And then... Didn't he ask him, like, why they, he was they there? They talk, like, what brings you here? Oh, yeah. He's like, I lost, I lost my, my son. So many, I lost like, my dad, too. I lost my dad, too. Well, I hope you find him. I, I hope, hope you find him. your son. Like, it was so dumb. Like, they didn't realize at first. And then you could tell all the little, like, village people, all the pigs and stuff. Like, they're looking back and forth between them. And they're like, you seriously don't know that you're related right now? And oh. they were almost going to let them go. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, Poe and then the... What was, what was the dad's name? I don't think the dad ever... Oh, the... Oh, um... Oh, what was the dad's name? I know he was voiced by Brian Cranston. So Poe and the dad, like, after they're like, oh, I hope you find your son, oh, I hope you find your dad, they turn around, and it looks like they're going to walk away name. not knowing that they're related. Yeah. And the little village people that are in between them are just looking at him like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. And they didn't say anything. But, I mean, Poe and the dad did turn around. They're like, wait, you're my dad. You're my son. Oh, my God, our bellies could be brothers. Yeah, that was a little weird. It was kind of a, a heart... I was, I was well, heartfelt it, that he found his dad. But it was bittersweet felt, the whole experience of that Yeah, scene. I felt da- I felt bad because the, the goose has been his dad. And he, you could see his yeah. goose in the background just kind of like... Yeah, was, uh, Lee. Sad. Uh, Lee. Lee. Da- the dad was Lee? Yeah, his name was Lee. Eli. The panda dad. Let's make be specific. The panda yeah, dad was yeah. Lee. Well, the only, they know Poe's the, the, the only other panda. This panda dad is named <laughs> Papa Panda. Why not? But he has two dads. So Papa has, Panda. Okay, so... Well, wait, what was the goose's name? Uh, the goose's name is... Does he have a name? Oh, they call him Mr. I don't even know his name, honestly. I feel like he never had a name. Mr. Oh, Ping. Ping! Yeah. So, yeah, that was that was That that whole scene was nice because it was bittersweet because he found his real dad. He knows who he is, but then his other dad. Yeah, and then Poe's even like, oh, dad, let me introduce you to my other dad. Like, it was. Yeah. And you could totally see that, like, Ping, the goose dad, totally, like, was on the offense. Yeah. And not like... Territorial. He's just territorial. Yeah, like, you know, how do we even know that this is your dad, you know? Because their bellies just protective. look like brothers. Yeah. Just very protective. <laughs> and then when they Poe. all left to like... Because uh, Poe was going to go show Lee all the stuff at the Jade Palace. He's just there left behind. His little rabbit gives him an action figure of Poe. Yeah. It's like, here you go. That's sad. Yeah. But it was kind of... It was some... It was like... It was... That whole, f- a lot of that though, at the beginning felt rushed with the, like, the dialogue and the joke. It's just like, they're just trying to like, okay, let's go, let's go. We gotta move this fast, move this fast, move this fast, 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 and boom. Yeah. And then it started nice and slow down towards, like, the middle. 
the middle end rest of the movie. Yeah. Like, I feel like if you hadn't really seen the other movies and you just watched this movie, I think it would have been fine, honestly. Oh, yeah. I think all the, all the first <clears throat> kind of movies are literally standalone. Yeah. Because the second one, I they explain it all in there. I mean, I liked the third one, but I didn't think it was, like, anything super special. special. Yeah, and it was interesting is, like, you know in the second one how they talk about a couple of masters besides the Furious Five, Shifu and Poe? That like one yes. got uh, what was it Thund- Master Thundering Rhino got destroyed by mm-hmm. the gunpowder, and the other two were just in prison. Mm-hmm. And this one now all of a sudden there's like hundreds of, of masters all over the kingdom. And I thought that in this point in time, because because of the introduction of gunpowder in the second one, in the time frame it was showing the transition of how combat was dealt with. Instead of hand to hand melee, you know, swords, arrows, and all that, it became more modern day where gunpowder, muskets, where it's now distance fighting, you know, instead of so close up. Uh That's how I thought it was going. So I'm like, oh, so there's not that many masters, but in this one, all of a sudden, there's like hundreds of other masters that were just in the background by name. Yeah. Which I thought was interesting. I was kind of like, okay, so there's more, like, where were they all at the beginning kind of thing. I wonder if they were just really old. No, they looked, the bear, the chicken, and the crocodile looked pretty young. Look pretty like what, like thirties? And why? Well, I don't know how to judge animal years. It's just the well, the way they were the voices, their voice. <laughs> I like how the chicken was like acting like a chicken oh, between yeah. between combat. Oh, moments. that was funny. He's like, even the chicken's going, and he's a chicken. And also, why was Ty- there's one interesting thing that I noticed, and I don't think they, ex- I don't remember explaining. Why does Tigress have this formal dress robe on, and no one else does? Why only she? Second one that doesn't happen. Yeah, she does. At the end, she gets it. No, I thought she she always has that. Formal. No, no, it, it was like a red vest. That's part of Tigress. She always has like a. But vest now she has like this yellow formal gown. I don't know. I just I wish they kind of explained like what, what was that all about. She's switching up her style. She's matured. That's it. That's all you got. Yeah. That's, that's, that's all. That's, whole, that, that's all I got. Okay. But um. So what happened? And I, I don't like how they didn't really do anything with the Furious Five, really. Yeah, that was. Yeah, they were. Like it was. So okay. So as soon as uh, Kai comes out of the spirit world and <laughs> I'm Kai. Who? He starts. Yeah. He starts taking everybody's chi. Like he starts taking some of the Furious Five, Five's chi. And I felt like it was just like you said. It was just rushed. It was really quick. It was like. They almost went down without a fight. Yeah, like 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 he just takes all of their chi, and of course it's it's down to Tigress and and Poe. Like they, I mean, I know he's a powerful opponent, but as we've seen in the other previous two movies, they can fight. Yeah, they're the first. But they just went down in fight. seconds. Yeah, and I was just like, wow, I thought they would kind of like do it together, but yeah, like they got split up pretty quickly. He, uh, Shifu yeah, Shifu had a crane just go do surveillance. Crane and Mantis. Yeah, like why do I have to go do it? Because I ask, no, because he can fly. Oh. Ha ha! Uh-huh. You too, Mantis. Well, it's because I yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> wings of surveillance. You know, just because you, you say that, like wings of whatever, doesn't give it like a special power and quality. <laughs> the wings of fear. <laughs> wings of regret. Yeah. And tennis is just. <laughs> I kind of wish they would do more with the Furious Five. They like, were really background this time. Like Viper, I think only had two lines. Yeah, Viper. Had like nothing. Yeah, and she was like, I feel like essential in the first. I don't even remember Monkey getting taken. It was shown. It was. It was like more like he he just did like he did this like whenever Kai took someone's chi, put his arms together like his palms together like vertically and go forward. Like you're an airbender. Or like uh, from Dragon Ball Z, like doing Kamehameha. I like mine better. Okay, but what (laughs) happened is they just show his hands going green, and that's you just. Here, you just, yeah, I don't, I don't, I can't even think of when Monkey got taken. Then it was when he arrived at the Jade, when Kai arrived at the Jade Palace and destroyed Uguay's statue and just took out the rest of everyone. The rest yeah. of the Furious Five. And See, Shifu. there's just there's just not a lot about the Furious Five in this movie, which I know, which I think maybe they did because they're trying to get away from that and like Poe finding himself with his family. True. Well, yeah, true. But also, do the Furious Five are have been doing this longer than Poe and are way better at it than Poe? Are they? They got caught somewhere. True, no, no, no. But like I'm saying, like, and how they get reverted to teachers, like, why can't all six of them be teachers and they start teaching the community, the village? Like, yeah. you know what because I mean? Because they're not dragon warriors. Only the dragon warrior can teach. But Shifu wasn't the dragon warrior. He was. See, Shifu was never the dragon warrior. Then why the hell was he teaching? Because he's Shifu. Whatever. That's what I'm saying. 
There was no like only the dragon warrior can teach. No, they could have. Shifu should have had all six of them teach, and that would have been experience to show the differentiating of how they teach and Poe trying to be a good teacher in that way. Because the whole thing at the beginning, of the problem was is he's not a good teacher. He can't teach. No, oh, right. But it, it was kind of like it was just like what they they set him up to fail. Like here's your first lesson. Go. Yeah. It's like, dude, come on. Like give the you know the guy's gonna suck. What was the thing that Uguay said? Like I'm teaching you to be you. Shifu. Or, no, it was... No, Shifu said that. Shifu said that. Shifu... That was a turtle. Okay, so it was Shifu. He said, I'm, I, I don't want... I'm teaching you not to be me. I'm teaching you to be you. Yeah, and then Poe was like, can you be any more confusing? You'd be Master Uguay. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. But, and then, um, so when they, when they finally get news of, like, Kai coming, um, I forgot how... Oh, no, no. Uguay... Uwe's gone at this point. Well, I know, but Uwe, didn't he appear to... No, no, no. It was oh, it was in the, it was in the scroll. Yeah, because she... It was in the scroll when they were reading saying, about Master and Because the, yeah, the whole joke was then, about who Kai is. No one knows. And yeah. And he's like, to the scrolls, and he's trying to find him, and then they find that jaded yeah. scroll. Yeah, so then um, it's decided... Well, all the pandas knew how to do, like, this chi technique, so... Because um, she that's how Shifu learned it. Yeah. And Shifu learned it from Uwe, who learned it from the pandas. Yeah, because so, the backstory is Kai and Uwe were brothers in, in arms, mm -hmm. leading like a massive army. And when he got, and when Uwe got hurt, Kai took him to a pl like kept just take trying to secret find secret panda village. Yeah, with well, all he the, stumbled on. Yeah, well, all the pandas knew how to heal through their chi. Uwe learned it, learned how to do it, but Kai wanted to harness the power to be able to take people's chi, chi away and be more powerful. Mm -hmm. And that's where they the, the divide began where they fought. So yeah, so they find that in the scroll and then Poe, you know, doesn't even think that he can do it because one, there are no pandas and then that's when the dad steps in and is like, oh, there's a whole secret village of pandas, whatever, you can come with us. And right there I heard, I knew that was a lie when he did it like that. He's yeah. like, I can teach you, yes. Yeah. Like, that's so, a lie. So which was like, so there was so much like secrecy around this village of pandas but then, when the when Poe and the dad was what was his dad's name Lee. Lee. When Poe and his dad Lee are walking to the secret panda village, um, Poe hears something in his backpack, and it's his dad, his goose dad Ling Ping. 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 So like he's like, Dad, what are you doing here? And he was like, You know, I had. A, what if you get hungry? Whatever, whatever. We all knew that he was gonna try to get in there. So. He loves his boy. Yeah, but like for something being so secret, like they just allowed. Paying to well, come in. He's like, I can't let you, like, I've been keeping him being adopted for 23 years. Yeah. Okay, you can go. Yeah, that was ridiculous. He still thinks he was hatched from an egg. Like, so that was weird. And then, like, the part where it was just, like, I feel like I'm nitpicking, but I just didn't like it. Cool. When um, Kai comes and takes, like, the rest of the Furious Five. Yeah. And then he takes Shifu. And um, it's only Tigress that's left. And she goes to find Poe in the secret panda village. And then finds Poe. Oh, she knows is, where to go, yeah. Yeah, like, if this is such a secret panda village, why does everyone yeah, know where it is? In the scroll, it doesn't say where it is. Exactly. And yet she found it. Yeah. She just yes, took the scroll with her. Secret. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. no, no. Again, like, she appears out of, like, you know, the yeah. blue. And she's able to, and she cli and she's wounded. She climbs up the thing, doesn't even take the little elevator. Yeah. She just climbs up it. And when you get to, and before we get to what the panda village looked like, it, there was a fun moment. I think it was... Really more on the side of, like, first it became fun, and then it went to re just straight up silliness, mm -hmm. is when he shows his dad the Jade Palace, all of a sudden his dad's in Master Rhino's secret armor. Oh my god. And they're just playing with all the stuff, breaking it, fighting with each other, like, pretend fighting, rolling around what in this What was the thing, thing of war the Whisper of Warriors? Oh, that was like, like a vase? But it, I like how that came back from the first one, because the yeah. first one he broke it, and it went, oh, and then it's all glued back together, like, what's that? The, the vase of Whispering Wars? Why is it cracked? I, I don't know. So, Some idiot broke it. <laughs> and they break it again and uh, it was funny is like he's they start having fun they're spinning around playing in all this battle armor and and like legendary uh weapons mm -hmm. and he's like one scene he's just supposed to just throwing up and his dad just coming back he's like there there oh, oh god yeah, it's okay it's okay there you Let go. It <laughs> and then the five and shifu walk in on them playing around and stuff they're like what the hell's going on and then when they find out he's a pan he's like oh it's your dad that's awesome that's cool and who told you how did you know Really? Yeah. So, I mean, it was... And then, you know, was it was movie. just fun, but it, like, it was just really rushed, that whole beginning of, like, just things are happening, things... Da, 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 yeah. Da, da. And it's like, they gave certain five members more screen time all of a sudden, 
and they just discard. Just, just, like I think Viper got basically shafted. She got yeah, the shaft. Yeah, honestly, Viper I, got the I, shaft. I think I can only remember like maybe two or three times. And there weren't even on... there weren't even lines. There were like yeah. a phrase or a word. And I'm trying to remember if Monkey had that many lines. He did. Yet. He did because when Mantis got captured, he's fighting Mantis. He's holding him. He's like, but Bestie, it's me, Bestie. Oh, oh right. sorry. Oh my gosh, Bestie. Like he had a lot more lines. Yeah, but they weren't like anything important. It was more, I feel like just like a filler. Oh, filler lines. Yeah. So okay. once again, it was just Tigress. Who had, yeah, it was it was just like all Tigers and Poe again, which is like fine. They have some weird little. Are they gonna date? I don't know, but it's just like it'd be nice to see more from the other five. Yeah, because the other ones. I feel like each one has a lot to bring. Because even like Mantis at the beginning, yes, there were filler lines, but he he you could tell he was the Joker in the group because all he said was just funny stuff. Well, Seth Rogen plays him. True, no, true. Yeah, and then David Cross's character was just like the the the. I guess he would be in the group the. The moderator, like making sure just everything's nice and equal, yeah. while Viper's the one who, like, goes to comfort people. Yeah. And Monkey's the wise friend in the group, and Tigers is just. The, it, yeah, it just would have been nice that there was more about him. Yeah, there's not much character. Not just Tigers and Poe again. Yeah. Because that's what it always is. But. Um, but what, yeah, when they get to the village. Oh, the Panda Village. <laughs> it was. It the was, dad is like, I understand why you keep this place a secret. I wouldn't want to live. Here. I wouldn't. Oh, the goose, I, I wouldn't the tell stuff, anybody yeah. I live here. so, yeah. And it's, it's really nice. Because it's all foggy at first, and yeah. it looks, like, really dismal. But then, like, once the fog clears and, like, the sun comes out, it's actually, like, a nice little panda it's like sanctuary. A, it's like a small hometown, nice little area. Yeah. But what's interesting is right from the get-go, I could tell, like, there's nothing special about this place. It's just a village. Yeah. There's no... Because you look at it, everyone's, like, no one's... There's really, like, yes, there are people, like... Everyone just looks, like, common. Like, yeah, like, because no one... Like, there are people doing, like, you know, peasants. like... True. There are people who are like, you know, watering, weeding, you know, upkeep. There are kids running around, but people, a lot of people are just laying around, sleeping, eating. Yeah. Just being just, a panda. Yeah. And so you could tell from the get-go there's nothing there. And like the way they act, the one guy who's just hugs. I feel like he was the idiot of the village. He's like, oh, I don't know who you are, but I'm going to hug you. Yeah. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to hug you. And then the one with the teeth, that with the little ding, 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 like backwoods banjo. Yeah. Like a redneck. Yeah, that guy a little creepy. Belly. I was like, ooh, that guy's a little, uh, I wouldn't want him near me. Paddle <laughs> 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 faster, I hear banjos. Oh, God. So, yeah, I mean, the village was, it was, it was nice. It was nice, but it, obviously from the get-go, then, as an audience member, you could tell there was nothing yeah. significant. And also, too, like, everyone ex- acted like these <clears throat> pandas were extinct, extinct, extinct. And here we find that they know it's secret location, sanctuary for pandas, but Lee travels so far, no word was traveling that fast. Like, dude, there's another panda. Because Poe is the known only known panda oh. in that whole, probably... Well, well, it didn't even look like they ran into anybody on their journey there, which was really but short. That's, but that's the thing. I'm like, come on. Like, And Lee is so much bigger than Poe, and he obviously had to stop and eat and walk. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. No one was like, hey, there's another panda. Oh my gosh. And word didn't travel around like wildfire. Yeah, that's the that's what I was like. And you can also you can also tell that the dad lied about teaching Poe about mastering his chi because as soon as Poe gets there, and you know, like the whole theme of this is Poe needs to learn to be him, a panda, like, a, be a panda. The dad starts teaching him how to be a panda, like uh, sleep in, sleep in till noon, noon, and eat as much as you can. Roll, you don't, roll. They don't no one even walks; they just and roll. We, for we don't walk anywhere; we roll places. So like stuff like that, and you can tell that has nothing to do with like, yeah. Like, I guess, like, oh, he's knowing what the panda, his panda yeah. culture is, but from the get-go, it was like... You can just tell. Yeah. Like, that's where I feel like it like, became just silly. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know Poe's not that sprite, but this is, like, where he became just dumb. It's like, you don't see this, man? Like, well, you, you, I know you're excited and everything, and you're like, you wake up the crocodile, like, I'm ready to go. All right, gotta sleep. <sighs> yeah. I just feel like the whole scene with him, like, trying to integrate into, like, his panda culture was just kind of unnecessary well i mean i think it was necessary for, for him to like experience the i guess learn how to be a panda yeah but I, I don't know i just didn't really like it to be honest why is that i don't know it just it just seemed forced dumb just dumb i don't have i don't know how to way of articulating this i just didn't, i, I, I thought it was like just silly like i get a lot of stuff that there were some <clears throat> funny moments but it went to silly so quick for a lot of things mm. like um I did like though because you mentioned it when they were naming like some of the panda characters, the panda characters like bringing names. One was called what was it? Dim Sung. 
Oh yeah, two the two twin, the twin. two twin pandas were dim sum, or dim and sum. Dim sum. Dim sum. Yeah, and and then the other panda, who was, there's like a flirt right from the get go. May May. Oh my my. <laughs> She was the ribbon twirler, and she's like, oh my, oh my god. god, look at you, so awesome, no way. Oh my god, stop it, Poe. Stop you're it, Poe, stop it. You're crazy, he's like, wait, what, what's going on here? And, and Didn't she, you say Rebel Wilson was supposed to be? She was originally uh, brought, uh, casted for that, but because of scheduling con- conflict, she couldn't, it was, so it was Kate Hudson in the end. That was Kate Hudson? That was Kate Hudson. Oh, wow, I didn't even... Yeah, she really, like, I feel like this one, she really... I think it would have been better as Rebel Wilson. I'm a little sad that she didn't get to do it. I don't, I don't know. I feel like with Kate Hudson, it worked because that's to me what, because I'm, I'm trying to picture those exact same lines, the way Rebel Wilson would say it, and I think it would have been added, a different character. It would have yeah. been a totally different character. Like, this one showed who she, re- I feel like that's who May May really is. This, like, girl who, like, thinks she's all that, and will be like, oh my god. That's I'm, Rebel Wilson. I don't, I don't see Rebel Wilson. Have you Wilson. seen Pitch Perfect? No, I saw it, but it's, she's more, like, cool about it, not girly about it. Like, she's cool. Yeah, whatever. To me, Rebel Wilson's more of a tomboy than Kate Hudson. Yeah. That's why. That's why. I, I would have liked it. That's, that's what I'm saying. Wilson, I don't see this character. It was funny with Kate Hudson. It was hilarious. And she's twirling him around with a ribbon. He's so big. She's and, she's, like... and then they get close. And she's, like, having him, like, she has it tied around his like his neck, basically. And she pulls it, and he'll kiss her hand. It's like, oh, stop it. And she keeps pulling it, and pulling it, pulling it, pulling yeah. it, pulling it, pulling it, pulling it. And then... Well, it was kind of cute because it, it, it does pay off later. There's a little girl panda who sees Poe's a bag and looks through it, and then she fi- she finds his action, oh, yeah. his action figure of Tigress because he carries around his action figures. But she's like striped baby lady, and so she plays with that and she loves it so much. And Poe's much. about to be like, "Oh, be careful!" And, then, and he's like, "Never mind, have it." Okay. Yeah, she's like, "Can I have it?" And she does those like Big. almost like puppy dog eyes, yeah. and Poe's like, "Okay, be careful." Oh, I hate myself. And then when Tigers comes to the village, she just runs to her like, yeah. Big Tiger Lady. Big Tiger Lady. Stripe Lady, Stripe Lady. And then Tigers has to deal with that in the background yeah. for the rest of the movie. And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to kill this kid. Yeah, I just felt like in the middle, in the middle of, I guess, the plot where all that was happening, you just kind of felt, I don't want to say like. It just felt silly. Well, not silly. It just kind of felt like it didn't really, I don't know. What the word is that I'm trying to look for. Well, what it other felt words? like um I'm saying a word happened in a sentence. Not confusing, not like muddled, or just I don't know. I mean I could see why they put that in there, but it just felt weird. Like this the plot line. It could have been a different way of going about it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. You. Well like, hey, like it will, here's one because how you're saying it could have been done differently. When Poe realizes what it means to teach you to be you, mm-hmm. he trains the whole village to become warriors, but by using their, their skills, skills of like have. of what was it hacky sack hugging rolling doing the little like catapult from the ribbon head, twirling like, ribbon twirling as weapons to battle Kai and his army. It was kind of what was unnecessary. It's like okay, I get it. He's like acting more like confident because he got it. And he's teaching people like good, do this, try it with this, and then later on shows him okay, we're, we're ribbon twirling faster, faster, faster. Now try it with nunchucks. Yeah. Now try hugging the stone and crush it. And he's able to crush the stone that hugger instead yeah. of a tree stone. The rollers how to roll faster. The hacky sack kids. He has him hack sack fireworks to throw as a plate yeah. distractions, but in the background the whole time you just see tigers being chased by that little girl. I felt like that was unnecessary the whole time. Like again, it's a little it was a little funny at the beginning. Yeah, like but then it, it came seems... like, who cares about that? I don't care. Yeah. Like, why isn't Tigress training with them? She's Tigress. But you get what I mean? Like it was just she all she is is just getting chased by a little girl and trying to hide from him. Like, no, stop, stop touching you. Where are you coming from? Yeah, I just feel like the whole middle part could have been done better. Mm-hmm. Like I get, I didn't why like the, the lighting glares that they did because I feel like they overdid it. Like, the what? You know, at the, okay, at the beginning when the five wake up and they jump off the the temple and they're like, yeah, yeah, and that like awesome, cool, like action, like the way like the front is the characters and then the foreground is all CGI computer animated, but the background looked like it was all hand drawn. You get what I mean? Okay. That was used in the first ones and those were like for specific like key battle moments of charging. Mm-hmm. This one, I felt like they just a used it like they just kept just just like just recycling that for like no reason oh like when he's going down that street high-fiving everyone he didn't need to use it for that 
Like, it became a little overpowering light-wise and glare-wise. And then I see it again for the training moment. It was like... Overpowering? You it was, mean, like, overwhelming? It was just like, you've used it too much already. Like, you should have mm. used it... Oh, like, at the beginning when they were going out of that temple, like, ah, use it for that. And then just cut to them going to where they're ending at the dump... At the noodle shop getting... That was funny. Yeah. But they used it so much right before that. And then they go back to it for the high-fiving the street. And it became at the point where you get to the training part, which... Yeah. So basically you're saying it was just overused. Yeah. Like, you should have cut it down... Cut it down to size. Use it a little bit for that funny moment of like they're going, oh, you're going into battle. No, they're just ordering noodles. Okay, that's kind of funny. Because that was a whole funny scene where it's like, we want two combo plates and like this hot sauce on the side. Tigers wants hot sauce on the side. I, I want it on the side. Yeah, like that was fun. But then they kept using it so much, they should have saved it for that training montage because it was so long. That training montage was long for a training montage compared to all I also those. felt in the training montage, Poe was like the only one that was like really excited about it. I feel like the, the Furious Five were just kind of like... You mean Tigers? No, just the whole Furious Five. Tigers was the only one during that training montage. Oh, no. I, well, okay, sorry. I mean, in the beginning when, like, He's teaching see, him? No, no, no. In the very beginning when, like, they're jumping off. They're doing their whole little, oh, like, yeah. strike a pose thing. Yeah. And Poe is the only one that strikes, like, a badass pose. And he's like, am I the only one doing the power pose or whatever? And all the other ones just landed and they're just like, yes, kind of thing. Well, because they're more mature than him, that's why. Except Mantis. I feel like Mantis could should have done it. Or Monkey. Monkey or Mantis should have done it. I don't know, it just felt like Poe was... More energetic. Well, he felt like he was the only one that really... Gets I mean, he it. takes it seriously, but it's also like a... It's yeah. still like a dream of his. He gets into it. Through. Yeah. Yeah. Just like when he was fighting... Um, Kai. Kai. He was like, this is so awesome if you weren't trying to kill me or something. Oh, because... Because uh... he was... Poe was the only one who knew who Kai was. Yeah. The only one. And he's like, yes, finally. Like... Oh, Kai was like, finally, someone gets who I am. Yeah. If I, well, he wasn't trying to kill you. Oh, really? Don't want to kill me? No, yeah. But he still was impressed by his awesomeness, too. And he's like, cut the chit chat. Chitty chitty chit chat. So, because overall, what we're getting at is like, it was a fun, it was, an, a, it was a fun, entertaining movie for the whole family. Especially if you've watched the first two and follow up. But if you're just getting introduced to this, it's still like it's standing yeah, on the movie. Yeah, so you don't need to. You don't. Because yeah. it, it just says it. It says it in the movie, basically, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it gives you like some of the background. But a lot of stuff did become really silly really quick. And the writing felt rushed. The setup felt rushed. That's what I'm. That's what we're basically saying because there were there were good moments of funniness, but it it kind of got a little yeah. It just basically got forced rushed really quickly. Like for example, um, okay, there was all okay. So in the beginning, like the first one, and the second one. It did seem like Mantis and Monkey were more of the close ones, closer together than the group. But now him and Crane have their moment. And they were talking and, you know, Crane's like, you know, wings of surveillance as they're flying over a part of the section of like, it looked like a desert to look for Kai. And then Mantis is like, dude, why are you doing that? There's no, there's no point. Like every time you say it doesn't mean it's like better surveillance or a more significant power. There's no point. But then during all of a sudden the fighting moment, now Mantis is using it. And then Crane uses it more and it's like, okay, you know, it didn't really... It seemed like a little rush, like a little forced, a moment of, of forcedness. It basically, I'm glad I didn't pay that much of a price for the ticket. Like, I, I'm glad this movie, this movie does end the trilogy. The way it ends off, the way it ends is like, okay, this is definitely the end. And I personally do hope it is the end of the Kung Fu Panda series. Because I don't, there's no, there's no need. There's no need to keep going on, basically. The only thing, remember we were talking about this on the way back, the only thing I can see them continuing this, um, series. the series franchise, is, if you franchise, if you will, if they did a, uh, an offshoot, kind of onto more of the other characters. Or like a prequel? Or yeah, or kind of like showing how the five assembled. That'd be cool. Oh, that'd be a worthwhile movie. And like, Poe can be a... But, but to keep progressing forward, maybe not. Because I feel like they won. Like, that's it. Evil is gone, even from the spirit world. I mean, he mastered his chi. He mastered inner peace. He's dragon warrior. He's like, a teacher. He's teaching the whole valley. He taught the whole valley how to do their, master their chi. Now tree. he has to go to a cave and sit for 30 years and ask himself, Who am what I? Is, who am I? Who am I? Exactly. Who am I? Who am But yeah, I? I think it'd be cool to either do like a prequel to see like how the five assembled, or... Go into more Shifu? on some of the characters or Shifu. I like how in the first movie we see Uguay as this peaceful man. Like, he's just peaceful. Mm -hmm. But when we see about his past, the dude, like, 
and you let you basically have to believe the Duke killed a lot of people because he led an army. Yes. And like raged war, but. I don't think they really ever said who he, they, him and Kai were waging war on, but they led an army of thousands, and so they killed people. Yeah, they were, and so it's like, whoa, that would be cool to see. Yeah, because like, that because that flashback, because yeah, that flashback looked graphic. It's like you guys are just going full on like bloodlust. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you have a peaceful. That movie. might be a little too much though. <laughs> if they're trying yeah, to it's wait, a, it's a peaceful movie. Kung Fu isn't Disney. Huh? Oh, no, yeah, you know. string works. Yeah, yeah. That's even if it, even it doesn't matter, it's PG, so it's fine. Look at Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's pirates. You expect I mean, it to what be. I'm saying. You expect it, it to what be. What I'm saying, pirate. it doesn't matter who owns it. It's just the rating. It's PG. They could do it. Yeah, true. But I would like to see more of the five because they did, especially this one. They really did get the shaft. Mm -hmm. All except Tiger. So to me, if you keep doing this with Tiger, it's like just make the love story. Why not? It'd be a funny relationship to watch if you think about it for a couple. I don't think I'd want to see it, to be honest. It'd be funny, I think. I think it would be funny, but I just think it would be kind of annoying. You'd feel bad for her? No, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Who was Mei Mei's love interest? I thought it was going to show like they were going to get together, but then yeah, I she, thought just, it was gonna she be gets together with the backwoods hillbilly looking panda. With oh, right. Never mind. Because she like, she else. accidentally bashes his skull with the nunchucks and then his teeth are and perfect. And then his teeth are perfectly straight instead mm. of all jacked up. And she's like, oh, hi. Oh, hi. Uh -huh. I did. Uh, what was nice, though, is that Poe was supposed to learn how to master Chi, but the one who learns it really quick and fast was his dad. Like, right just by looking at the picture, he got it. Mm -hmm. That was a cool moment. So, like, his dad was the one who just literally just well, his dad, the I mean, his dad didn't have Poe's history. His dad, like, already kind of knew who he was. And oh, he was so older. that's... I, okay. No, I, saw, I mean, that's what I took from it. True, that, like, true. I, I, I thought that was just a cool moment. I was just saying, but yeah. I get what you're going into. Like, he already knew who he was. He's and he's already older and everything because he went through his traumatic experience of losing his wife and yeah. kid. Yeah, like, he already has his identity. He wasn't And what was cool about family. that is that they do tie... I was waiting for him right when the third one started. I'm like, okay, you're meeting your dad. Well, in the second one, you guys are going to talk about the death of the mom. I'm waiting for that. Like, mm -hmm. you, you better, like, talk about that. And they do. But I did wish they showed the dad's perspective, because that's what I want to see, the dad's perspective of their village being destroyed Yeah. by that uh, peacock and his army of wolves. Mm -hmm. All they showed again was Poe's side. Poe's perspective. Again, and that's like, why, why not the dad's? Like, that would have been more like, because the dad's looking for the wife, and that's when he's breaking down, you know? Yeah, that was That, that was would have been... You know, that would have been good to see, though, another side of the... Well, yeah, yeah, but it was Oh, it's a sad... Oh, God, I got... When I saw the second, the first time in the second movie, I... Oh, my God, I was like, that's... That got me in the heart. Oh, that got me in the heart. That pulled on your heartstrings. Oh my gosh! The feels because so he's such a big fat little baby fan. And he's like just crying. Her mom. I was like, oh, I don't need to hear that. Too many feels. But that would have been nice, and I did like though how they got a because what happened was the Poe thinks he can do the whooshy finger hold to send Kai back to the spirit realm. But it only works on mortals. So what he does is Kai he uses it on him. Yeah. So what he does, Poe uses it on himself. Well, first he Poe attaches himself to Kai like mm -hmm. a bear hug from the back. And then does the whooshy finger on himself, and then they get launched into the spirit world. And they're left behind by a, uh, a puddle, a, 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 like a little group, of, like a group of uh, rose petals. Yeah, Pink. I know lotus. Lotus petals, sorry, lotus, lotus petals. petals that go into the yin and yang symbol. Which yeah. again, like in every movie, it's all about the yin and yang symbol. From it's the all about balance. Yeah. So. And black and white. What panda. I thought was really cool. Uh, oh yeah, black and white. Black and white. You didn't get that from the, from the beginning? No, that was I the didn't. whole. I, I saw it from the oh. beginning. From the beginning, I'm like, oh, it's because it's black and white. <laughs> no, okay, so, anyways, I liked how when Kai and Poe were in the spirit world and everyone <clears throat> gathered around the. In the back in the mortal world. Yeah, back in the mortal world, everyone gathered around the. The, 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 the yin and yang made out of lotus petals and they were, you know, like. Performing their chi. Yeah, so does that mean all of them mastered the chi? Yeah, because they. Cause they realize who the records are saying, you know, um, a father, a friend, family. a family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I guess they all a nunchuck girl. <laughs> no. A nunchuck girl. But that's because they realize it's all master to master your chi. You just know who you are, and yeah. they all realize who they were, and that gave. I thought that was really cool. That was a cool moment because they, they all like it. realize who they were. They surrounded the yin and yang, and then put their chi towards Poe. So back in the spirit world, um, you all of a sudden start seeing these like glowing, illuminated prints on Poe's body like one was a panda print one was tigress print the goose the goose yeah the goose, goose like yeah. all of them are like showing that they were helping Poe to defeat Kai and then come back to the real world well just to defeat what? him they well yeah, yeah, yeah. Was just almost, and he transformed finally into his final form with like looking like a master having a cape 
a silhouette of a made of light of the dragon embodying mm-hmm. him. And then I thought that was a cool moment. Then it goes, I thought I really did like that part. But and I thought it wasn't forced or silly when all of a sudden he does the chit chat thing again. The dragon starts doing it mm. with him. Like that was funny. And then they go in the battle, they win, and he meets Ugwe again. Yeah. And Ugwe gives him his staff mm-hmm. that he had in the spirit world of the yin yang symbols. Like now it's yours, you know. There you go. What's next? You can stay you can, here. Yeah, or you or can leave. leave. It's and up then to you. Poe's like, you can leave this place. And then Ugwe. Ugwe's like, I don't know. I've never tried. Like, <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> so Uwe just decided to stay dead, I guess. Uwe, he knew where he was, his place yeah. was. He's so, like, Poe goes back to the mortal world. And then, you know, blah, blah, blah. They go back to their village. Like, the, the, the village. Main, that, the main village. The main village. They like, leave the panda village back to yeah. the Yeah, and the then, Jade you know, Pilot, like, yeah. Shifu is back and everything. And I remember she was like, where did you get that staff? And she was like, oh, Uga gave it to me. Of course he did. Well, remember I talked about it. I thought it was kind of sad that, like, Uwe, or no, Shifu hadn't mastered his chi yet. Because uh-huh. he was saying that he'd had to he got, go he, to a cave for 30 years and ask, who am I to he just got a, He just knew how to do it just a little bit. Yeah, he just knew, knows how to do a little bit of chi. Uh, and then at the very end, you see him ask Poe, like, oh, can you teach me? <laughs> you felt bad for like, Shifu. Uh, you felt bad for the character Shifu from the beginning, from the first episode, just because of yeah. like, he's just having a bad day from the get-go. And I was like, poor Shifu. He's one of my favorites. I don't know why, he just is. Yeah, I like I like that though. Like you've been just like feeling bad for him from the get go. It's like he just he just needs a break. He does. <laughs> just trying to well, remember in the second was it the second one? Yeah, it was sec or no? Two or one? No, I think it was the first one. Yeah, because that's that's the one with Tai Long. Yeah. And that's the one where like the messenger bird comes over to let Shifu know. Okay, so you see Shifu, and this is in Kung Fu Panda one, and like he's trying to like meditate, and you you hear him. He's like inner peace. Inner, inner, inner peace. <laughs> and then, like, you know, the, the, the bird, the messenger bird. Crashes bird. through. Yeah, messenger. crashes through, and then Chifu's just like, inner peace. So, like, I feel like he was kind of, like, doing it with Poe, but, like. And then, at the, and then the second one in the cave, he's like, when you were, that the day you were announced in the Dragon Warrior was the worst day of my life. <laughs> like, the worst possible, excruciating, painful day. Yeah. That was pretty funny. And then at the end, he's like, damn it, now I'm his student? <laughs> like, he just didn't get kind of break. But it was, uh, the ending was cool because then it showed he was able to teach not only the Furious Five, but the whole valley how to do their chi. Yeah, I had a few cliche things like, uh, Shifu's like, the student truly has become the teacher. And then they're playing Kung Fu. Oh, and then they play the Kung, Kung But like, more of like, uh, not like the, 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 the version that everyone knows that. Didn't they play it in, they it wasn't in English. Them. They, they were a little bit. It was a little. It was a little bit, but it English, was more of like this. I want to say opera feel, but like you're hearing it on a stage feel. Like it's a fill the room type version of it, not like a, a pumped up. Let's go, let's go. More of like you know, just like yeah, an awesome. empowering feel. <laughs> the way this version of everybody was kung fu fighting was presented in the final scene. The final fight. It wasn't like what the the standard version everyone knows of the song. Like, just oh, fun okay. and kind of, like, gets you a little pump. It was more of, like, this... It was inner, an inner peace feeling. It was more of, like, a celebratory song. Yeah, yeah, that's how it was done. Like, empower, like more of an empowerment and celebratory and letting everyone know, especially the audience, that evil is now definitely eradicated from all of China in the spirit world. And now it's all about peace. There is they, no more evil. Because they do their chi, and then the whole valley comes to life with petals. With, you know, flowers are coming back to life. And they pull back. Oh, right, It right. was a show of okay. that. That's why I like that version. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. And you're right. It was like half in Chinese, half in English. So that was nice. So that's how the movie ends. And like I said at the beginning, like a little while ago, I do hope this is the final one because unless they honestly, the only way to keep doing this is to show how the five got together. And the only way to keep doing this is to go backwards, not really prequel. Forward. It's just prequels. Yeah. I, I don't. Or they'll do the whole typical thing where someone of the someone of the group gets captured and they have to go save them. I really hope they don't go that route. No, because that'll cause be then, kind of annoying Because then you got to me. then the only way to do that is like to leave the country and that goes into a weird realm. To leave the chi- chi- country of China. Mm, they might. You never know. I, I just and also too, which was what I felt was weird, is that in the second one. I know now this is really nitpicking. Gunpowder is it? Gunpowder is introduced. Yeah, they destroy most of the, like, all the cannons and, like, stop uh, gunpowder from, like, showing its devastating power to the world. But then in this one, like, 
no one has really used that in a different way. Like you can use gun gunpowder in a different way. I mean, not in fireworks, but that was interesting. Now it's like gunpowder doesn't exist anymore, even though it was brought back. Like someone had to see that and like bring that back. Like it's still like. Oh, like how it just wasn't prevalent. Yeah, that's in this what I'm one? saying. Because because I like the second one so much because not only was it showing, uh, it was a, it was a little darker, it was more serious. I did like that. It was a better storytelling with still the funny kung fu panel like the first one, but it also put a time a placement of time for this alternate universe movie. Yeah, it made it actually like oh like historical like logical in a time setting. Like it put it put it like you know right when gunpowder was invented kind of place. And then it showed the advancement of technology. So you wanted to see gunpowder more, in this one? Well, more more of a placement of their time, because then it looked like now they went backwards. Like, this time saying looked like it went back to where the first one was in the time frame. But remember, he'd been in the spirit world for 500 years, and when he came back, those weapons, those sword-flinging things, yeah. was the only thing he knew. No, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about everyone else. I'm just saying the whole community. Yeah, but Kung Fu isn't about using weapons. No, 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 no. but like the, the, the people. Like, you know, just, I'm just saying like, yeah, I know for Kai he wouldn't use it, but it was just, I liked how that one put such a, if no one caught that, but it put, it put a, such a, like almost an, like, I want to say an emphasis emphasis on where it was in, in point of history. Okay. And this one, it didn't show that again. Nitpicking! It, it is. <laughs> if, if your, your second one shows such an advancement of technology, I was like, that's why I loved it so much in this, fictional universe and the third one it's like not a, it, there's no other advancement in the background which i that's what i'm saying i like that and this, that's why the third one i felt yeah. the third one was really just more silly fun which is nothing bad but it was just really more on the silly side than just straight fun yeah well i mean i also think you have to like take into consider well, take into consideration what type of movie it is it is just like a kind of a silly movie I feel like they only used gunpowder last time just because it, it, it worked with the plot. Yeah, okay. I mean, it could have been any other weapon, really. Yeah. I feel like, but... But it was, yeah. uh, overall, it was just a fun movie. I recommend it people just... I recommend people who love the franchise just to go see it. Because, like... Uh, yeah, like, this really wasn't something I wanted to see that much, but since I'd seen the first, the two. first two, I was like, okay, well... I've I gotten... Gotta, I, I came this far. I came this yeah. far. It's like if you watch, like, the first four... It was four. like the Toy Stories. Yeah. Only oh, I, I was way more excited for well, that, Well, I was, okay. I was, like, so excited. I was yeah. like, I have to okay. watch it. Side note, for the third one, I was not excited for it because I thought it was, like, really, what's the point? When I saw it, I was totally wrong. Obviously, the third one's freaking amazing. Yeah. Now that there's a fourth one, I'm, like, I'm halfway. Or it's, like, all the Fast and Furious movies. Or all the Mission Impossible movies. Or all the Bourne movies. Like... Star Wars. All, well, Star Wars is different. That's on no, a no, whole no, different level. That's, the, like, a classic. But all the franchise movies. Yeah. When a new one comes up, you're just you, like, there's a point in time where you're, like... Like, the 22 Jump... Or 21 Jump Street number two. Okay. Like, you're just, like, I have to see it even though I'm, I'm already stupid. invested. I've been invested. Yeah, I, have I to, came this far. I have to watch it. Yeah. That's what I... I felt a, even a little bit less for this movie. Like, I wanted to see it, but I was just, like, if I don't, whatever. It was more of a... You know what? I did come this far. Might as well. It was more of you called and asked me if I wanted to go with you to see it. Well, I, okay, I wanted to see it because I was like, you know what? I've seen the other two. Other I've than that, with. I've just been like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to just go get dumplings. Oh, right. Oh, my God. After watching this movie, we just wanted we just wanted dumplings. I just wanted dumplings. Do we ever, do? does it ever say where this takes place? It's in China. Are you sure? Yes. Are you positive? Look it up. Cause my phone's on four percent. Look okay, it up. Okay, I um I don't even have. Okay, um I look uh, it up. Because they even say all of China. They do. In a couple of lines in the first and second one, it's all of China. Because I, I didn't want to like be incorrect. It's well, hold on. You don't have to be. Look at the look at the design. It's not Japanese. I honestly don't know that much about Chinese or Japanese designs. So. It's 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 in China. It's all in China. Well, okay, let. Give us a second here. We're going to... I am telling you right now. We're going to look this up right now. I already know. You want me to look it well, up. Well, I just want it to be clear. That's fine. It should be perfectly cha -cha. clear. Cha -cha. Oh, the story of Kung Fu Panda is set in the Valley of Peace, a fictional land in ancient China. Okay. Are, so dumplings are Chinese then? Inhabited by anapromorphic animals. I don't know why I added that last part. I just got a little mad. Yeah, it's basically it's in China. So either way, after we were done I don't think dumplings this... are strictly Chinese. I think it's I well, know. maybe each like different depends on what has, like their own. They never type. say what's in the dumplings. You know that they never say if there's chicken, there's beef, there's uh, even like if it's like just a paste of like vanilla or strawberry, or it's just a full on dumpling. I think you're there. reading too much into this. I just want to know what's in there, like because I want to because when I go get dumplings, meat. But what type is it? Chicken or 
or or all types or beef. They're just dumplings. I want to know because when I go get now. dumplings, I want to know specifically what I want to get. Anyways, after this movie, we just China. wanted dumplings so bad. I just I still want dumplings. Yeah. I still need to get dumplings. You're gonna have to get dumplings after this movie, basically, is what we're saying. Yeah. Or like before. No, get it afterwards. After, after. Get it afterwards. You'll develop an appetite. No, I wanted, remember, okay, so then the dad with like his noodles and everything, I wanted noodles and I wanted dumplings. Those noodles look good. Those fictional noodles. Hey, fictional sweets sometimes looks great. Those cartoon noodles look so good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah tr- totally. So, yeah, any last final comments, statements, opinions? No, I think I said it all. Do you think you'll rewatch this again, probably? Nah. Like, do you recommend it? Do I recommend to see it? Yeah. I mean, especially if, like, you're, for, like, if you have, like, any, like, nieces or nephews oh, or... Oh, you've just been following the franchise? Yeah. Both. Like, but, but mostly yeah. if you know a little, if you have if little kids. If you've been following it. Yeah, it's more, of a, it's more of a kid movie. I feel like older kids, like, you and me saw it because we've been following the franchise. But other than that, yeah, it's a family movie. It'll I, be I, fun for the kids, but... The only, the only, the one thing that I do like about it, like we said again, it is, a, it, it is... And I think that's really cool when a sequel of any number can do this, whatever number sequel in the franchise and series, mm-hmm. that it can stand by its own. That's what I really like about this movie, is that it can even it can still stand on its own as its own singular movie without having you don't have to watch the first two to get this one. That's why I, like I felt it. it would have been a little better connected though. I mean, no, no, yeah, no, I mean, okay. yeah, I mean yeah, 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 there's the connection, but I'm just saying for anyone who doesn't know, and they think, oh, oh I can't see this yet because I gotta watch the first two. You don't have to do that for this movie. Kind of like how Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was done. The sequel for Rise. I never saw any of those movies. I I know. But what I'm saying is is that... (laughs) Those apes kind of freaked me out. I'm saying that it's its own standalone, which makes it it nice and easier for people getting introduced for the first time to this. True. That they don't have to Because probably young kids will watch this movie for the first time without even seeing it. But but they'll get it. Yeah, they'll 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 understand it. And what's nice about parents... Who have kids who have just came into this age to go see this movie? They don't have to be like, all right, well, we gotta sit down and watch the first one. I gotta sit down and watch the second one. We gotta go find that. Put out the time of two and a half, like about two hours for each movie. Go buy it. Go rent it or look it up and everything. They don't have to. They can just go straight to the movie. Yeah. That's what, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, what's really nice. nice about this movie is if this is your first time hearing about Kung Fu Panda, mm-hmm. you don't have to feel like you have to start from the beginning. You won't feel lost. You can just get in. Boom, you're good. You can just watch it. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, so overall, overall was, good movie. Yeah, overall it's fun. Nice and fun. Yeah. Get your dumplings. Yes, get your dumplings. (laughs) All right. Well, that wraps us here for another episode of Combo Number 2. Thank you once again, Brittany, for joining us here. What up? All right. We will catch you in the next episode. Once again, I'm Tom Flores. I'm Brittany. And this is Combo Number 2 signing off. You all have a good day. Catch you on the next time. Bye. Oh, bye. Goodbye. (laughs) Sorry. Remember to say bye. Come on. (laughs) Be nice to the folks.